What is a super flower moon? A super flower moon, or flower super moon, occurs early in the morning on Thursday, May 7th, but the super and flower parts occur on different days. Let me explain. Last month's super pink moon didn't really look pink, and this month's super flower moon won't look like a flower. These are traditional names. Any full moon that occurred in May was called the flower moon because it marked the blooming of spring wildflowers. As for supermoon, the astronomical term is perigee syzygy of the Earth-Moon-Sun system. Syzygy happens when three or more celestial bodies are aligned in a straight line. Whenever the Earth, Moon, and Sun line up, it is either a new moon or a full moon. The full moon version of syzygy is also called opposition because the moon is directly opposite the sun as viewed from Earth. As for perigee, that's when the moon comes closest to Earth in its slightly elliptical orbit around the Earth. Apogee is when the moon is furthest from Earth. The moon can reach perigee or apogee in any of its phases. When the moon is full, at or close to perigee, we call it a supermoon or perigee syzygy. This time, perigee occurs on May 5th at 8.03 p.m. here in Arizona, but syzygy occurs almost 32 hours later. Let's go to the Giovanni Open Deck Observatory here at Lowell Observatory to see how this looks from the ground. Perigee makes a full moon appear up to 7% larger and 15% brighter than a typical full moon. This particular supermoon will be the last supermoon of 2020. As seen from Flagstaff, Arizona, the moon rises due east on May 6th at 6.41 p.m. Astronomical full moon, or syzygy, occurs nine hours after moonrise here in Arizona at 3.45 a.m. on the morning of May 7th. Join Lowell Observatory on Wednesday, May 6th for a live stream of the super flower moon. Beginning at 6.30 p.m. local time, we'll watch the moon rise and take a look at some of its features, including a few Apollo moon landing sites. After that, you'll be ready to find the rest on your own as the super flower moon shines brightly in the evening sky.